This North American legend goes that in the rural village, there lived a young woman named Maria. Maria came from a poor family, but was known around her village for her beauty. One day, an extremely wealthy nobleman traveled through her village, but stopped in his tracks when he saw Maria. Maria was charmed by him, and he was charmed by her beauty. So when he proposed to her, she immediately accepted. Maria's family were thrilled that she was marrying into a wealthy family, but the nobleman's father was extremely disappointed he was marrying into poverty. Maria and her new husband built a house in the village to be away from his disapproving father. Eventually, Maria gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, but her husband was always traveling and stopped spending time with his family. When he came home, he only paid attention to the children and Maria knew her husband was falling out of love with her. One day, he left and never returned. Years later, as Maria and her twins were walking by a river, she saw a familiar carriage with a younger, beautiful woman next to her husband. Maria was so angry and confused that without thinking, she picked up her two children and threw them in the river, drowning them. Only after she saw their bodies floating in the river, she realized what she had done, and she jumped into the river hoping to die with her children. Now she spends eternity looking for her children around the river. It is said that if you hear her crying, you are to run the opposite way. And if you hear her cries, it could bring misfortune or death. Also, if you are a child, be extra careful because she is attracted to children, thinking that they are hers. Since she thinks children are hers, she tries to drown them. Children should not walk alone around this river, just in case. Many parents in Mexico use this story to scare their children from staying out too late. At the gates of heaven, she was challenged over the whereabouts of her children and not permitted to enter the afterlife until she found them. She is forced to wander the afterlife for all eternity, searching in vain for her offspring. She constantly weeps, hence her name, La Llorona. She is caught between the living and the spirit world. In some cases, she kidnaps wandering children who resemble her missing children, asks them for forgiveness, then kills them to take place of her own. People who claim to have seen her say she appears at night or late evening by rivers or lakes. Some believe those who hear her cries are marked for death, but those who escape in time are not. She is said to cry out, Oh, my children.